Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Hey, many of you have seen the mermaid videos that we filmed in Hawaii and in a few other places around the world. And you've asked, how can I get a real cool mermaid tail like that one? So today we'll make a really quick video where we once again tell you where we bought our mermaid tails. And we will show you how easy it is to put on this mermaid tail. It's very easy. First off, we bought our mermaid tails at The Two Tails. Go to the website. There will be a link in the description section of this video. Go check out the mermaid tails. They have tails that will fit just about everybody's size and shape from little tiny kids to even us larger folks. Very cool and they're very affordable. These mermaid tails cost from around $100 up to $155. I believe we paid about $120 each for the two that we have in this video. But if you go to the website and check it out, you will frequently see they will be on sale. The last time I checked the website, they had a bunch of them on sale for $99 each. So for around $100, you too can be a mermaid. Yes, $100 is a lot of money, but being a mermaid is really cool. As you see in this video, it is very easy to put on a mermaid tail. Roll it down, slip your feet into the monofin. That's right, it is a monofin, one big tail shaped fin down at the end. And then just pull the mermaid tail up past your legs, and then bam, you got it on. Don't walk in it. You want to do this right there at the edge of the water or at the edge of your swimming pool. Some people have asked, well, should I put on the mermaid tail after I get in the water? Because you know, you don't want to walk in it. No, do not put it on in the water. It's a pain. If you're at the beach and you try sitting down in the water in just a couple feet of water and you try putting it you're going to get sand up in your tail. You don't want sand in your tail, do you? And if you're in a swimming pool, you'll probably want to sit at the edge of the pool, slide your feet into it, and then pull the tail up. Very simple. The two mermaid tails we have are very durable. The material is fairly thin and it stretches really good, but it has not worn out. We have not snagged it on anything. I guess that's possible. So we try to take good care of it, wash it off when we're done. And we make it a point not to walk in it because you could really put it on, stand up and flop around, but that's going to wear it out. You're going to damage something. There are a lot of companies that make mermaid tails. They're priced from around $100, and I've seen some up at $1,500 or $1,600. Those are the big fancy neoprene or rubber ones. You don't need a tail like that. You're not a professional mermaid. And even if you are a professional mermaid, you don't need a $1,500 tail to prove you're a mermaid. And remember, usually those more expensive neoprene and rubber type ones are going to be a lot heavier than these basic, simple mermaid tails. A lot of people have asked, how hard is it to swim in a mermaid tail? It's really pretty easy, but you better practice in water that is not over your head. You have to get used to kicking both your feet at the same time as you're flapping the mermaid tail, opposed to how you'd normally swim where your legs will alternate when you're kicking when you're swimming. It's a little different, but it's actually, it's pretty good, especially with that monofin, you can really get going. And as you're seeing in this video with my lovely assistant, this is the first time she has ever used this mermaid tail. So in the parts of this video that we filmed in Hawaii at Hilton Hawaiian Village, this is less than five minutes after first putting the tail on for the first time. It's that easy. These tails are fun, that you have a great time in them. They're fun, they look good, and they are affordable. And that's really very important because if you said, hey, I always wanted a mermaid tail, you should probably buy an affordable mermaid tail to start out with. I don't want to say a cheap one, but a low cost one to see if you like being a mermaid because you might say, hey, I don't like swimming underwater or hey, I don't like having to flap both my feet at the same time or hey, this is more work than I want. I just want a tail where I can sit there on the beach and look at the water instead of have to swim with the fishes. So I seriously advise you, do not go out and spend a whole bunch of money, like two or three, four hundred dollars on a mermaid tail, unless you have actually tried one out. So for around a hundred dollars, that's the way to do it. And really quick, because many of you have asked, our underwater footage is all done with GoPro cameras, and our out of the water footage is done with Sony cameras. So from all of us here at Beanmeister 22 Productions on location, in Hawaii, mahalo, and thanks for watching.
I can't not look at you. I know, I hear that a lot. A mermaid with a cell phone, I just filmed it. Meister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.